Thank you. Well, first of all, thank you to the returning officer, to the staff, to the volunteers, not just the ones in the room tonight, but those across all of our polling stations for helping making democracy happen here in Castle Island Mornington today. Thank you also to all of the candidates that stood and were brave enough to put themselves forward, and especially thank you to Elliot Coburn for his service to our community. Thank you to my team, who there are just too many to mention. Um, it's a phenomenal thing, a campaign, and the hours that people give up voluntarily to, to help this cause. This victory is not mine, it's all of theirs. Thank you to all of my team. And I, I recognise it's not just the team that's worked on this campaign, but Liberal Democrats that have campaigned in this borough for decades. So I want to give a special thanks to Tom Brake, who served our community for 22 years too. I know I'm standing on your shoulders here tonight. Thank you to uh, my family, this is the hardest bit, <laughs> to my wife, who is not only my best canvasser, but my best friend, to my mum and dad, who I know don't like politicians much, but <laughs> to get them to like this one, um, mum and dad, I know that not many people with politics come from families like ours, and I promise to try and make them proud. Um, and finally, thank you to the people of Carshall and Wellington. I am really genuinely humble to be able to be your representative, and I don't take the responsibility lightly. I know that some of you will have lent me your vote, some of you won't have voted for me, some of you won't have voted at all. And I want you to know that I'm here to represent all of you, and I hope to earn your trust and respect over time. I've spent three years as the candidate, and it's been brilliant to work meet so many people. And I've been listening to your concerns, and I understand. I understand the sense that nothing seems to work anymore, that NHS wait lists are too long, we're not happy with pollution in our rivers, we are uh, seeing that schools struggle, we know that police are not investigating the crimes that they used to. I understand that the cost of living is biting badly. And that kind of idea that we have, that meritocratic idea that if you work hard and you play by the rules, that you'll get your fair awards, is going. And that fair deal has been broken. So I want you to know that I'll work every day to try and make these things better. And that restoring that fair deal is my mission as your MP. Now, I go into politics because I was fed up with what I saw on the telly. And the whole thing's been a mess for far too long. But my way of trying to make it a little bit better is to get the basics right. I want to keep listening to you. I want to be honest even when we disagree. I want to show respect to all of my opponents. I want to maintain integrity. And ultimately, I want everybody to know that I am accountable to you, the people of Carshot and Mountain. And if I do that, I hope I can push things in the right direction. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.